So you're thinking about moving to Charlotte, North Carolina in 2023. Well, this is the video for you because I'm gonna go over what Charlotte has to offer right now in 2023. And I think you're going to like it. What's going on family? I am Sir Ashley. I am a realtor and an investor right here in North and South Carolina. And I've been living primarily in Charlotte and the Charlotte area since 2010. I get texts, calls, emails, DMs from people thinking about moving to the Carolinas and specifically the Charlotte region. And we help people buy, sell, and invest right here in the Carolinas. So if you're thinking about moving here, buying a home, reach out to my team and I, we are here to help. We love helping people and we just love sharing our information and knowledge and actual learning from others as well. I've had some Charlotte residents, people that grew up here, reach out to me and be like, sir, have you heard about this? Do you know about that? And I get a kick out of it and I love it. I actually had a 84 year old woman call me and I thought she was gonna curse me out because her, her tone initially was very harsh. But we had one of the warmest conversations and she went into the history of Charlotte with me. And I am forever grateful, but let's get to the topic of why you're here on this video. So you're thinking about moving to the Charlotte area in 2023, and I believe that is one of the best decisions you can make right now because Charlotte has a booming economy and a vibrant culture. Zillow just named Charlotte the number one metro in 2023. Charlotte offers something for everyone, whether you're looking to advance your career or you're just looking for somewhere new and exciting to call home. Charlotte is the place to be. And those of you who live in Charlotte, I urge you to go out and explore, see what Charlotte has to offer because it's not the same Charlotte you might have known pre-pandemic. A lot has changed. Now, a lot is still the same, but a lot has changed. Real quick, before we move on, if you're getting any value out of this video, hit that like button. And if you like what you hear, consider subscribing to the page and hitting that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop more videos. Again, Charlotte has something for everyone when it comes to culture and entertainment. The city is home to numerous art galleries, museums, performance art theaters, and music venues, as well as comedy clubs. Now, I'm a fan of comedy clubs, and I love going to the music factory and just catching a laugh just to break up the monotony of the work week. Now, Charlotte does offer a lot, but please do not compare Charlotte to Atlanta, to LA, to DC, to New York. Because while Charlotte has a lot, you have to plan accordingly because you just can't do anything you want on any day of the week. Now, things are gonna be happening throughout the month in Charlotte, so you're gonna have to look on the calendar and see, hey, I wanna go here today, I wanna go there next week. You just can't pick up that day and be like, you know what, I wanna go to a comedy show because it may not be readily available. Now, Charlotte does host a variety of festivals throughout the year, and if you're looking for an extra dose of culture, those festivals are where it's at. They have popular events such as the Charlotte Jazz Festival, the Drunken Poetry Slam, Charlotte Pride Parade and Festival, and the Carolina Renaissance Festival. Now, I don't know if you're a fan of Game of Thrones. I am. Now, the House of Dragons, I didn't really get into it. I need to catch up on it. I kept falling asleep. But I bring that up to mention the Carolina Renaissance Festival. I wasn't quite sure when I moved to the Charlotte area why everybody was so big on it. And then I went. And I absolutely loved it. So if you're in the Charlotte area around the fall time, please go to the Carolina Renaissance Festival. Traffic is a nightmare. So carve out an hour and a half just for traffic. But once you get there, make sure you have your wallet. You will enjoy yourself. Now, surprising to some, Charlotte is also known for its foodie culture. You can find cuisine from almost any region in the world right here in the Charlotte area. And if you're vegetarian, like I am, there's several very good restaurants and fine dining that caters just to you. So whether you're looking for a fine dining experience or a casual meal out, there's something that will suit our ever-changing palates. And if you're looking for a unique shopping experience, then look no further than Charlotte. Charlotte has it all. From designer boutiques to quirky gift shops and farmer markets to craft fairs, there's endless opportunities to find some special souvenirs and just quirky things 
that you can call your own and have your own style and flair. Now there's different farmer markets for all the different small towns surrounding Charlotte. So I urge you to check that out. Now we do have your common um, premium outlets. You can go check those out. There's actually have two, you have Concord Mills and then you have Carolina premium outlets. Concord Mills is north of the city and Carolina premium outlets is just south of the city. Actually, it's still in South Charlotte. So Charlotte definitely has it all when it comes to shopping. You can get the brand names, the big name stores, but you have these little mom and pop boutiques that offer excellent fashion and some of them are very reasonably priced. Now you may be wondering, what do I know about fashion? I wear black every single day, but black is in style. I like black. Now, more than likely, if you're coming to Charlotte in 2023, it's because of a job or you're looking for a job. And Charlotte has become a very attractive destination for employers and job seekers from all backgrounds because it has a growing number of businesses and industries in the area. North Carolina, recently ranked by Moody's and Wall Street Journal, the number one state for business in our country. So yes, Tons of businesses are coming here and bringing their headquarters right here in Charlotte, or they want some kind of locale in the Carolinas. So come on. The city of Charlotte has an unusually low unemployment rate when compared to the rest of the country. And yes, that brings in new residents. And to you current residents in Charlotte looking for employment, um, you have several options. You have the retail route, which there's always opportunities in the service industries, but if you want to grow and have a career, please consider going back to school or learning a new skill. Computer technology is a booming industry right here in the Carolinas and in Charlotte. I recently had two friends learn how to code. They used the time during the pandemic to learn how to code and they have six figure like jobs well into the six figures right here in the Charlotte area. So they used that time wisely and found work right here. And they could work anywhere, but the job is in Charlotte and they live in the Charlotte area. So it's a win-win for them and it could be an opportunity for you if you haven't thought about it. So those of you coming to Charlotte for education, the city has some top universities that offer degrees from undergraduate programs all the way up to doctoral studies. Now let's talk about entertainment. There's no shortage of options when it comes to entertainment right here in Charlotte, the Queen City. From cultural events to festivals to live music to comedy shows, I touched on some of those earlier. There's always something fun and interesting to do in the city. Now again, I told you you might have to plan it out, but there's always something to do. An outdoor enthusiast, we have everything you want. We have Crowder's Mountain, we have McDowell Nature Preserve, we have um, Daniel Stowe Botanical Gardens. You have the National Whitewater Training Facility which is a vibe all in of itself. You can just go there, chill, drink beer, and watch people go around the rapids, or you can partake in the zip lining, the ropes course, you can go hiking, you can go mountain biking, you can climb the rock wall. Again, pay the $10 for parking, and I recommend you getting a season pass or a year long pass, but if you're just trying it out, pay the $10 for parking and go enjoy the U.S. National Whitewater Center. And Charlotte also has several wineries right in about 30 to 45 minute drive from the city. Charlotte has a lot to do. This is a prime time to move to the Charlotte area. And again, to those of you who are in the area, take advantage of what it has to offer. Now, moving to Charlotte doesn't have to be difficult either. Because it does have a relatively strong public transportation system, now, I say that with some hesitation and trepidation because, again, if you compare it to the transportation systems in other major cities, it looks pedestrian, um, anemic. But when you compare it to the other transportation systems in the Carolinas, Charlotte does have a very strong public transportation system. You have a trolley, which doesn't really go too far. You have an extensive bus line and you do have a, a train or rail system that can take you around the city. And there's always Uber or Lyft. Now the cost of living in Charlotte is quite affordable compared to other large cities in the United States. Now it is less to live in Charlotte than it is to Raleigh. And 
in my opinion, Charlotte is just a better option than Raleigh because there's more to do in Charlotte. I used to live in Raleigh. I went to law school in Durham and lived right on the border of um, Raleigh and Durham. And my, my parents still live in Raleigh to this day. So I'm familiar with both areas and Charlotte definitely has more to offer than Raleigh does. Although Raleigh is growing, you can't touch Charlotte and Charlotte offers a more bang for your buck. According to Numbio, basic items such as groceries, transportation, and healthcare are below the national average here in Charlotte when compared to other cities in the United States. Housing prices do tend to be a little bit higher than other cities in the United States, but again, when you compare it to a large city, Charlotte's cost of living or housing is relatively affordable. And if you want more affordable housing in the Charlotte area, don't hesitate to look at the outskirts of the city. Yes, public transportation might not be readily available in the outskirts of the city, but housing out there is still very affordable. I recently found a client, a four bedroom, almost 2000 square foot brand new home for under $300,000. You can't beat that. Overall, Charlotte is a very livable city with room for anyone who wants to make it their home. We welcome you. Charlotte is full of transplants, so you will not feel uncomfortable if you come here from a different city, state, or country. With its low unemployment rate and ample career opportunities, combined with the reasonable price for cost of living and the abundant entertainment options, Charlotte is an ideal destination for anyone looking for a place that offers both stability, excitement, and an urban feel, but also a suburban feel. It, it's quite unique. There are plenty of neighborhoods where you can find a great place to live in the Charlotte area at an affordable price point that fits your budget perfectly. So what are you waiting for? Start planning your move now. Make 2023 the year you take full advantage of everything Charlotte has to offer. And don't hesitate to reach out to my team and I. We will help make the transition that much smoother for you. So if you're looking to buy or invest right here in the Carolinas and in the Charlotte area, give me a call. I'm Sir Ashley. Talk soon.